Transposition is a powerful tool for you to have in your toolkit. We're going to have a look at a couple of different strategies. The first one I tend to call crisscross. It probably has various different names. Let's have a, a run through of some of the basics. Um, I've tried to give some guidance. Try to write by using the lines on your paper as a guide. And there are only two rows when we write down a formula. If it ends up as a fraction, we end up with a top line and a bottom line. The subject, that is the thing that we are trying to find, must always be on the top line by the time you get to the end of your transposition. And don't get hung up on the position of the equal sign, just exactly where it is. We'll look at that as we go through. So let us start with a very simple formula, which we will meet in the not too distant future. The formula is R equals rho times L divided by area. So we might say R equals rho L over A. Just a quick detour, rho, which is this, is a Greek letter. And we use a lot of the Greek alphabet as we progress through our course. And I'm pretty sure that many of you will call it P, but it's not, it's rho. So here is the formula. At the moment, R is the subject. R is the thing which we are identifying, and to calculate R, we would use these three values. What I want us to do is to change it, and in this case, I want us to find L. We, I need us to change it so that L is the new subject. Using this particular method, <clears throat> what we need to do is underline it. If you've got a division line, your line goes straight through it. So you've created a top line and a bottom line. The next one is put a line through the equal sign. So we've got a left-hand side and a right-hand side. And if we look at the picture, we have a top left, a bottom left. We have a top right and a bottom right. And using this method, the crisscross method, we move things, we move the letters diagonally across the equal sign. So let's have a look at that now. I want L to be my new subject. That means I will leave L on its own and I need to move these two away. So if we start with the A, this A is going to move diagonally and go up there next to the R. So my next line, I have R times A equals rho times L. R A equals rho L. If I put the cross in again, underline it, go down through the equals. We can repeat the process. L is what I'm trying to find. What do I need to move away? I need to move rho, and that will leave L totally on its own, which is the aim that we are trying to achieve. So, let's have a look at that. Rho is going to go diagonally down. It's going to appear under there. Let's write that. R a over rho equals L. Now, this is right. The problem is, it's sort of the wrong way round. When we write our formula, we tend to put the subject over on the left. L equals R A over rho. So there is the answer. That's what we were aiming for. So I just want to pause there for a moment and come back to this. You may spot this, uh, that there is one step and there is a second step, and you may be able to do it all in one go. Let's try that now. R 
equals rho L over A. And I want L to be on its own. So I want A to go up to the top on this side, and I want rho to go underneath on this side. So I could do that in one step. R times A, so that A has gone up, then the rho comes underneath. So I've done it in one move. L equals R A over rho. Okay, swiftly moving on. <clears throat> I'm going to take the same formula r equals rho l over a, and this time I want us to make a the new subject. So let's do the routine that I'm trying to encourage you to think about. Line straight through there, and a line down through the equal. So we've got four boxes. Things can only move diagonally. We want a on its own. The thing we are trying to find must ultimately be on the top line, and at the moment it's on the bottom, so we have to move it. So this needs to go up there. So we'll have R A equals rho times L. So the next step, we want A on its own, we need to move the R. And if we underline again, underline, put the cross in, the R is going to go from the top left to the bottom right. That R is going to move down there. So let's write that. A equals rho L over R. And that's the answer that we're aiming for. Just want to revisit that again, as I did in the previous example. R equals rho L over A. We want to make A the subject. I'm just going to take you back to this for a moment. If we look at what happened, in our first step, we moved A to the top. And in the second step, we moved R to the bottom. What I want you to think about here is doing them in one move. When we have this situation, which occurs a lot with a formula, these two literally swap places. This one goes up to the top. This one moves down to the bottom. So the next line is simply A equals rho L over R, and that's what we're aiming for. So watch out for that situation. It may help you. Those two just swap. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's just try and look at a couple more examples. totally different formula. Z equals A, B, C. And I want to make the letter A our new subject. So in this case, if you want to draw on the cross, you can. I'm not going to draw it in, just imagine it's there. And we want A on its own, and it's on the top line, so leave it there and we want to move these two away. So those two are going to go to the other side underneath. So Z equals A, and the B and the C move underneath. Let's 
just write it in the correct order. Subject on the left, Z over B times C. <coughs> Excuse me. So the last one. Let's try P equals M over R S T. And I would like to make S my new subject. So in this case, S is on the bottom and I need it to move to the top. So this needs to move up and that is going to be my first step. There's the equal sign. We have a P. I'm going to move the S up. And what does that leave on this side? M on the top and R and T on the bottom. You will notice this is the situa situation we had on the previous example, on the previous page, where these are basically changing place because now the P is going to move diagonally underneath. S equals M over P R T. Let me just revisit that quickly. P equals M over R S T. S is what we want. S is going to move up here and I know I'm going to have to move the P and that must move down. So it's that classic swap that I told you to look for. S equals M over, bring the P down, PRT. So there's the swap. They just change places. <coughs> 